Um, the interest in the Peace Corps is not just shared by those of us who are volunteer, who are returned volunteers. It's also served, and, and the interest is found by others. I'd like to invite uh, here to the well a colleague of mine from California, uh, Congresswoman Lois Capps, who represents the Santa Barbara area up into Santa Maria. Would you care to join us? Thank you so very much for doing so. I thank my colleague, uh, Mr. Garamendi, for uh, inviting me to join him here and for bringing the likeness of uh, Sergeant Shriver, the first director, so that I could stand next to him and pay tribute to him as I am speaking about uh, the importance of the Peace Corps as I have experienced it. Uh, this is such an important anniversary, the 50th anniversary of the founding of the Peace Corps. Actually, this day, apparently, that's what you uh, mentioned in your remarks, Mr. Gambrandi, and that you were joined by uh, two members of Congress who probably were influenced to become act, uh, members of Congress by, in fact, one Mr. Petri just spoke, and he said it's because, or Mr. Honda did, and said it's because of his experiences in the Peace Corps, he could say, uh, honestly, that that's why he's now serving in Congress. And I'm, I've heard other um, of my, our colleagues say that as well, and both Mr. Honda and Mr. Petri uh, speak eloquently, as you do, uh, Mr. Garamendi, about the effect of this experience on you. And I've seen it firsthand from friends of, my, of mine. Uh, I don't think it's possible to say enough a positive about this wonderful organization. So having a special order this afternoon, this evening, is an opportunity for us all to come together and celebrate the commitment of the United States Congress to communities around the world as they experience it through volunteerism, through uh, ordinary citizens of this country who volunteer to share uh, in the life and experience of a culture different from their own. As the Peace Corps celebrates this 50th anniversary, it's clear that this work that our citizens and volunteers have done is, and today is never more important than, than we see it today and also more relevant to what's going on in the world today. I am very proud to represent a congressional district, the 23rd in, in California, with a very active returned Peace Corps volunteer community. The Alumni Association numbers well over 150 members, and they're active in our community. Uh, and I think that I know firsthand also, knowing several of them, many of them, that the community has been strengthened because of their experiences in Peace Corps, and they readily testify to that. And at the University of California in Santa Barbara, my hometown, uh, this campus consistently ranks toward the top of U.S. colleges and universities for volunteer recruitment among its young graduates. When I have the opportunity to meet with folks from the Peace Corps Administrative Office, the first thing they always mention when they find out where I'm from is the high concentration of former and future volunteers uh, from my congressional district. And so I know that on the south and central coast of California, with these alumni living and working among us, the importance of service, of community, of open-mindedness, of the values that Peace or holds dear, these have influenced the way our civic life is conducted uh, in our country as these returned Peace Corps volunteers bring their experiences in their service abroad back to their home communities and places of business. It's a win-win it's a on both sides of whatever body it is that separates us from our uh, countries around the world. Uh, there's a, an institute